Hey guys, my name is Cam and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you could tell by the title of this video, today I'm going to be filming episode 5 of my OT5 collection journey. So this video is going to be super duper chill and basically I'm going to be doing a Q&A session as I organize these photo cards and larger OT5 goods. So yeah, I posted a poll on my story a couple of days ago asking y'all for questions for this video. So those are the questions that I'll be using. If you want to participate in any potential future Q&As, definitely follow me on Instagram at Simzilla bit and yeah i'll stop my rambling and get right into the organizing and questions So the first question from Matcha Marks is, do you have a way to organize how you collect and buy, or is it just impulsive? I would say that it's mostly planned or organized. Um, I do set a budget for myself on a lot of my cards, especially my OT5 collection. I've kind of set my budget to um, $6 or less in general, and I've been able to follow that pretty well so far, obviously excluding Kinos and such. But for other collections, such as Sulgi, I wouldn't say that there's like a certain way for me to collect. Like I don't collect absolutely Absolutely everything that has her face on it like her a4s and stuff so i think it really just depends on the collection but i would say that i collect based on vibes or like stuff that speaks to me or stuff that i see and i want so i would say it's partially impulsive and partially organized sorry my answer was kind of all over the place but i hope that kind of answers your question the next question is, do you think there will be a Red Velvet Summer comeback? And my answer to this is, I definitely hope there is, but knowing SM, I think there's probably a 50-50 chance that we'll get a Red Velvet Summer comeback, or just any, like, comeback in general from Red Velvet. Like, I really thought that we would get a comeback in March or April, and now it's late April and we still haven't gotten a comeback, so... I really don't think that we're going to get one, honestly. So hopefully in the summer we get one because obviously Summer Red Velvet is the best. Like Red Flavor is definitely one of my most played songs and I have been streaming it quite a lot recently. So hopefully there is a Red Velvet Summer comeback, but honestly, I'd say there's a 50-50% chance. And before I move on to the next question, I did finish my Dum Dum set, which is really nice. This page is so freaking pretty. And the next question is from Jordan Stan's K-pop and it's, what has been your favorite part about collecting? And honestly, I'd have to say that it's probably getting to meet all of you guys here on YouTube and just Instagram in general. I feel like the K-pop collecting community community is so nice and so welcoming so i definitely would say that that's one of my favorite parts of collecting just like this whole collecting community is so nice and it's been so fun to be a part of but yeah just meeting people in general i know that kind of is repetitive but yep the next question is, what prompted you to start your collection? So originally, I was only collecting albums, basically. I just bought a couple of Red Velvet albums. I think a Twice album was actually my first one, and it was a gift from some of my friends. So I didn't really think that I'd fall into, like, the rabbit hole of collecting, if that makes sense. I really never saw myself collecting photo cards like this. But after watching so many YouTube videos, especially from, like, Randy, since he was collecting Red Velvet, I definitely think that that partially prompted me to start my own collection. I don't know, it just looks so fun and retail therapy was definitely a real thing last year, especially during the pandemic. So I definitely think that the pandemic, in addition to inspiration from K-pop YouTubers, definitely prompted me to start my own collection. And it originally just started with like Sulgi album photo cards, but that quickly grew to like non-album photo cards, other groups such as Stray Kids, NCT, Itzy, Espa, you know, and now my OT5 Red Velvet collection. So yeah, it's really been a great ride and I really appreciate y'all for all of your support and stuff. The next question comes from vocalist SC and it's what do you think are the hardest cards to find for Red Velvet? And honestly, at this moment, I'd have to say it's between Perfect Velvet, Finale, and RBB probably. I feel like those sets are just so hard to complete, but those are just if we're talking album photo cards. I think like for non-album, definitely the Finale hologram sets. I've seen those go for so expensive, like $100 or more, which is absolutely like insanity because those originally retailed for like $10. So to answer your question fully for album photo cards, 
Peekaboo REB Finale, and then for non-album photo cards, the Finale Hologram and Lenticular sets. The next question also comes from Vocalist SC, and it's honest opinion on Like Water. And I have to say that I feel like I didn't like it too much when it first released, just because I'm not like a big ballad person, you know? I feel like when I got into K-pop, it was for that like really pop and like bubbly sound, you know? So I didn't really vibe with Like Water, if that makes sense, because it is a ballad, it is a slow song. But as I've learned about the lyrics more, and like the story behind Like Water and the whole album in general, I think I've really come to appreciate it a lot more if that makes sense. I'm just so happy that Wendy got like a solo debut, like I said in my vlog, but I'm just happy that she got what she deserved, especially after everything that she's been through, especially in like 2020 and 2019. So to answer your question, my honest opinion on Like Water is that it's a really amazing, amazing song. Personally, I don't think it'll be on my most played because it is a ballad, but it is a really, really meaningful song and I think it means a lot to Reveloves and Wendy, so yeah. The next question is, do you have a budget per month for photo cards or does it depend? So I wouldn't say I necessarily have a budget since I'm not really buying too many things at this moment just because there hasn't been that many things to purchase. So honestly, I don't really have a budget. I kind of just look at the amount of money that I have in my PayPal account since that's my primary payment method. Is that what it's called, a payment method? Yeah. So I kind of just look at how much money I have in there and I kind of like gauge how much I should or should not spend for that week or that month if that makes sense so yeah it kind of just depends on how much money i have in my paypal so yeah that's my answer to that question the next question comes from yeti's dreams and it's when did you stand red velvet and who is your first bias in red velvet so i kind of talked about this in my first q a a couple of months ago when i started my luncheon and fusion collection but my first bias was actually miss wendy who i'm coincidentally putting a photo card away and the first song that i heard from them was peekaboo and wendy really caught my attention just like her ad-libs and stuff throughout this song and her visuals i feel like all the girls in peekaboo era really ate up the visuals like honestly when i think about peekaboo era it's really hard to think about who owned that era because all of them ate but i think i stand probably around or after bad boy era i feel like i didn't avidly listen to red velvet until like power up era but definitely around bad boy era i would say that i started standing red velvet along with like twice since they were one of my top girl groups during that time but i think i said in my last q a video that my bias changed around Zimzilla Bim era after the Red Mirror concert in LA. But yeah, Solgi really caught my attention during Zimzilla Bim and the concert, of course. So I ultimately changed my bias from Wendy to Solgi. But Wendy will always hold a special place in my heart. And honestly, all of the girls in Red Velvet are just so amazing, so talented. I love them so much. And yeah, it's really hard to pick a bias in Red Velvet. And I'm so happy to call myself a full-fledged Revel of nowadays and collecting their photo cards. So yeah, that's kind of like my mini revel of story if that makes sense okay so i have some leftover questions from my last q a that i didn't get the chance to answer i don't think so i'll go ahead and answer them now i apologize in advance if any of these are redundant from my last q a video since i'm kind of just going based on memory on what i answered last time but the next question is are you planning on collecting any other idol and at this moment no not really but i think the most recent idol that i started collecting was winter and ning ning from Espa. if you guys watch my last collective haul you would know that i started collecting winter but i am also collecting ning ning and i have received a few things of hers in the mail so far so i'm super duper excited to start her collection as well as winters obviously but just Espa's kind of a hard group to collect not gonna lie i feel like there's like so few goods and so few sellers but the demand is so high so as a result the goods are so freaking expensive especially the sm global shop cards and like the hologram lenticular sets they just go for so much freaking money and it's actual insanity seeing the bids on ebay for the sm global shop cards go up to like a hundred dollars and the holo lenti sets go up to like 70 or 80 dollars as well so yeah i guess it's fun to collect them but it's just really stressful to get their stuff but thankfully i think i've been able to secure all of ning ning's photo cards i think i'm only missing one or two winter photo cards but everything else is on the way or on hand so yeah i'm super duper excited to start that collection the next question i kind of answered earlier but it's when does Sulgi become your ult? I'm guessing she is. And like I said previously, it was definitely between the Red Mare concert in LA and Zimzilla Bim era. I feel like Sulgi is just such an amazing performer that seeing her perform live in concert really prompted me to stand and ult her ultimately. Sorry for that pun, but but yeah, like I said before, Sulgi is just an amazing performer. Like she's an all rounder, she's an ace, she's an amazing singer, dancer, performer, you know, she's just the whole package, I feel like. And all of them are 
are so freaking talented, like I said. But ultimately, Sulky did take the cake as my bias. But yeah, I think that actually brings me to the end of the photo cards. So I'll really quickly put these larger goods away. I just have this Join Yeti receipt from the scrapbook version, as well as Yeti's day two postcard from the guidebook version. So I think for now that'll have to do since I don't have all five of the receipts yet. I have Wendy's on the way, I think. So eventually I'll put all of them in their own sleeve. But for now, this will have to do. But yeah, before the outro, I'll really quickly do a recap flip through for y'all as usual in my OT5 collection journey videos. But yeah, that brings me to the end of this video. I feel like I was so concentrated on answering your questions and talking that I didn't even realize that I finished the ice cream cake set, the Dum Dum set, the Velvet set, my Summer Magic set. Oh my God, I finished this. This perfect velvet set B, the entire day one or Zimza Lip Bim set, so the guidebook version, and then the two day one versions are complete. And finally, the day two guidebook version. So yeah, oh my god, I completed so many sets today, how exciting. But yeah, that brings me to the end of this video, like I said before. But yeah, thank you all for staying to the end of this video. I really, really appreciate it, and I hope that you all enjoyed. A big shout out and thank you to anybody who submitted questions for this QA. Thank you all so much for all of your support and asking those questions for me to answer but yeah i think it's so cool to see my ot5 collection come together and complete all of these sets today but yeah thank you all so much again for staying to the end and as usual don't forget to like comment and subscribe stay safe stay healthy stay loud and i'll see you in my next video peace